diversity is a crucible. It's, mm. it's something that will bring to the fore the character development that goes into being successful. You can do it without, but if you were trying to study yeah. what are the things that you need to be successful in life, I think the easiest place to find those characteristics is by studying people that have overcome adversity because it forces you to quickly develop the characteristics to be successful. If, if you've never under, uh, you know, undergone adversity, mm -hmm. you can still get there, but it's a longer journey. Uh, you know, one of the things I learned early in my career when I was recruiting uh, people and I wanted to be, have them be successful, if I found people that had already overcome adversity mm -hmm. successfully, they had a much greater chance of being successful. Because the right. first time you hit the adversity, you know, who knows how you're going to react. Right. But if you have a series of them and you've overcome them successfully, it's a, it's a character builder. It makes mm -hmm. you stronger. It makes you better. Well, what is it that separates the men from the boys when it comes to overcoming adversity? Clearly, we see people facing adversity all day <laughs> long, and some of them curl up, curl up in a ball. Yeah, sure, they don't sure, get out of it, sure, while yeah. others kind of thrive on it. Yeah, there's no question about that. Um, the first thing that I would say is, is we identified in all the research that we did, and we, we looked at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of backgrounds, and we interviewed mm -hmm. people. And we the first thing that we learned, that there were three common characteristics that the people that have overcome adversity seem to have. The first is what we call uh, personal accountability. Uh, they acknowledge that whatever's going on in their life, they have to be responsible for. And, you know, if you ever have somebody that, that starts making excuses, mm -hmm. you know, I could have if only this hadn't happened. Sure. I could have. And if your children start displaying this behavior, you know, that's not a good sign. You know, if your kid comes to you and says, well, I could have made that little league team if the coach had only known mm -hmm. how good I was. Well, mm -hmm. the kid should be working harder to have the coach know. But yeah. personal responsibility. These people have a great deal of optimism, more so than the general population. And then the third thing that they display, which is something you might not think about very often, it's an attitude that I call and then some. They have the ability and the desire to do what's asked of them and go the extra mile and then some. It's a very, very special characteristic. Now, I cannot tell you why some people have these three things mm -hmm. and others don't. Uh, that's the $64,000 question, mm -hmm. but I do know that they seem to be present in virtually everybody that we study that have had success. Well, the and then some characteristic is the one that has me intrigued, and I'm, I'm a CEO myself, and um, once I read that, I said, aha, yeah, that, that, <laughs> I understand why this person is getting promoted over that person. Yeah. Can you spend a little time on that, or maybe help encourage people yeah. um, to really own that sure. and then some characteristic? Well, I can, I can certainly give you one personal experience. When, yeah. I was, uh, when I was in college, I had to work my way through, and I had a job loading trucks at night, mm -hmm. and it was a very good paying job. And it was a casual worker, so they didn't, they didn't always need a certain number every night. So yeah. some nights they need 10, 20, sometimes they only needed one. Mm -hmm. Well, I needed the money very badly. I needed to pay for some things. I needed to help my family out. So what I had to do was to make sure that if they only called one worker, that I was the worker that they called. And I don't know any way to achieve that without having an attitude of doing what's asked and then some. Mm -hmm. So that if they ask me to come in early, stay late, work hard, take a difficult job, go up in the nose of the truck and get tailpipes out, yeah. be willing to go do it. Uh, and I think if you understand that that can separate and distinguish you from others, uh, it, I think it makes it a little easier. And you know, somebody asked me one time recently, you know, wonder if everybody had this and then some attitude. Mm. Well, I said, well, you know, I'm not really worried about that because it's been my experience that most people have the attitude of just enough to get Absolutely. by. Absolutely, yeah. And that's just not going to make it. Yeah, should people in business expect adversity as a way of life? Or, I mean, is there really a such thing as, um, you know, living the dream um, without facing adversity? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, uh, I don't know a business that's never uh, encountered it. I don't know an individual that's never encountered it. In fact, I would say, whether you're a business or you're an individual, mm -hmm. you're either about to go into adversity, you're in adversity, or you're coming out of adversity. <laughs>